Alright, what's up folks? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at converting phthalic anhydride to thalamide. Or more generally, what we're going to look at is converting anhydrides to imides. Uh, if you don't know what those are, Google them. The functional groups are probably going to be on the screen right now. Now, uh, if we want to convert phthalic anhydride uh, to thalamide, step one of this reaction is going to involve adding two molar equivalents of NH3, H2O, and then heat. What this will do is this will form our ammonium thalamate. Ammonium thalamate, which looks like this. Um, in, now the next step is we want to get rid of this uh, O minus NH4 plus over here. In order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to add H3O plus. When we add H3O plus, we form basically a carboxylic acid on this end, but we keep our amide over here. Now, to form our amide, functional group, we're just going to heat this. Now typically, typically this, uh, when we say heat, we mean somewhere in the realm of 150 degrees Celsius to 160 degrees Celsius. And essentially you form your amide functional group. Uh, and your amide functional group, remember, looks like this. Double bond O, N, R, double bond O, R. So this is amides. That's your amide functional group. Now, in this case, in this case, our R group that is attached to the nitrogen is hydrogen. What if, hypothetically, you're solving an example that asks you to replace this with an R group? Let's say uh, CH3 or uh, something like a CH2, CH3. How would you go about this? Well, all you need to do, as I've written here on the screen, is all you need to do is replace one of the hydrogens on the 2NH3, okay, that we used in the initial step to convert phthalic anhydride to ammonium phthalate. Uh, ammonium thalamate, meaning this step here, instead of using 2NH3, we would just use 2NH2R, where R, where R represents the R group that you want to ultimately have attached on your imide functional group. Uh, and as you can see on the screen here, normal process, your 2NH2R, H2O heat, process continues, yada yada yada. Let's look at a specific example, and the question here is asking us to convert phthalic anhydride, phthalic anhydride into this. I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure what the name is. I should have probably figured out what the name was before filming this. But all we're doing is we're replacing what we had over here in the last step. Where is it? Instead of a hydrogen over here, we want to add a methyl group. We want to add a methyl group. So CH3. How do we do this? Well, what did I say? In the last step. All you want to do is instead of using 2NH3, you're going to use 2NH, uh, sorry, 2NH2R, where R in this case is our CH3. And the process continues as normal. We're going to have our, uh, this is not ammonium thalamate, but no, I think this is ammonium thalamate. I'll have to figure out the exact name later. Uh, but then what you're going to do is you're going to add H3O plus to get rid of this O minus NH4 plus and replace it with carboxylic acid. Then you're going to heat this. Heat it, again, we mean 150 degrees to 160 degrees Celsius. And then ultimately you form your amide functional group with your R group instead of uh, hydrogen. So that's that. Very simple, very straightforward to go from your anhydrides to your amides. Um, of course, I did skip out on a couple of the mechanisms because this isn't a mechanism video. This is just more so a, syn uh, a synthesis video. Uh, I will go back and put the names for these structures so that it's a little bit clear um, what we're dealing with at each step of the reaction. Like, comment, subscribe. Actually, dislike it. Dislike it, please. Peace out. No, no. Wait, what am I teaching? Hold up. Oh, yeah, phthalic anhydride to thalamide. Yes, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm...